stunning stunning weather conditions stunning scenery hello welcome back to my channel hope you're all feeling strong and well i'm feeling strong and well out in this extreme weather we've been getting some extreme weather and uh, i found it hard to ignore uh, doing a little uh, little video about the extreme weather that we're getting here in uh, west yorkshire so uh, that's what this uh, video is about while we have a little look around an abandoned quarry up here um, so let's have a look a slippy underfoot you might be able to just hear the roar of the mighty m62 down there we're getting further away from it so it should get nice and quiet apart from me rabbiting on so what's going on why so much extreme weather i've noticed a lot more rain here in west yorkshire a lot more wind and then we've got this we've been experiencing some really extreme cold here um, i've seen on the news reports of minus 15 here in west yorkshire find that really hard to believe actually uh, the other night they were saying minus 10 i put uh, a temperature gauge outside and i only got down to uh, minus uh, 2.5 so i don't think it any got anywhere near minus 10 but you tell me are they dramatizing in the news about these temperatures but one thing's for sure it is quite extreme this has been hanging around for uh, over a week now uh, quite deep snow and uh, the roads have been an absolute mess so uh, yeah, extreme weather. The scientists put it down to natural climate change and human driven climate change. We might get a good sunset actually, if I'm still out at that time. Um, yeah, so climate change, let's start with that. Um, a warmer atmosphere, you wouldn't think so, but we are getting warmer atmospheres here in this uh, part of the world. Um, that contains 7% um, more for every degree of moisture. So uh, for every degree warmer, we get 7% more moisture. So uh, that means when it rains, it really rains a lot. Look at the sky, amazing skies here. Um, yeah, it looks beautiful, but uh, all this snow, it's water, right? And all this water, when the snow melts and the rain comes back, it's overwhelming our towns, cities and our rivers. And then there's a thing called the jet stream, which I'm sure you all know about. But if you don't, the jet stream is a high altitude current that does govern our climate here. And it's becoming more erratic with the climate change. And that, once it's set in place, is the reason we get storm after storm after storm like i said this water just doesn't disappear it saturates the ground and uh, weakens the soil weakens trees in the storms and that causes these trees to topple we get more landslides trees causing devastation and uh, risk to life on the roads seeing more toppled trees than ever Let's just take this little route down here. Oh, maybe not. It's muddy. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Uh, let's see. Okay, managed to get over that little bit. <laughs> we might just see some wildlife just startle something down here. So it's worth a look. So yeah, Mother Nature, that's what it is. It's, uh, it's quite frightening sometimes to realize how powerful Mother Nature is. Uh, there's land that's been solid for centuries reliable solid land literally slipping away in this extreme climate when it comes to the weather we are just spectators but you know it's not just uh, climate change that's causing this extreme weather in west yorkshire West Yorkshire is in a zone where we get uh, cold air from the Arctic and warmer air coming up from the tropics. And that natural collision right where we are on the globe um, causes this extreme weather and feeds the storms. So uh, it's not just the climate change, it's actually where we are on the planet.
Now let's not forget about urbanisation. As the towns and cities build, more and more asphalt or tarmac as we call it here. Uh, the tarmac surfaces are replacing natural surfaces and uh, that just can't absorb the water. So it kind of like just washes off them whole areas and that causes extreme flooding. Uh, for example, Hebden Bridge here in West Yorkshire, that floods every time there's a little bit of rain. Now I could start banging about greenhouse gases, how we can uh, save the planet and all that kind of thing, but that's not how I see it. I think that mother nature is far more powerful than we give her credit for. And what we can do is uh, learn to live with this evolving climate. I hope you've enjoyed this little walk out. I did want to show you what West Yorkshire looks like in this extreme weather. It does look beautiful. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. I don't know where I'll be next time, but what I do know is I want you with me. So until the next one, bye.